Alkanes with three carbons or more can form more than one alkyl group. The name of the alkyl group depends on what type of carbon is the hydrogen removed. Propane can lose a hydrogen from a primary carbon and when that happens we will have propyl. If the hydrogen that is removed is from a secondary carbon, then we are forming the alkyl group name isopropyl. Butane has two different kinds of carbons. Butane will have a primary carbon and also a secondary carbon. When the hydrogen is removed from a primary carbon, we form butyl as a primary alkyl substituent. And when the hydrogen is removed from a secondary carbon, like in this case, then we have the alkyl group named secbutyl. The name secbutyl relates to the type of carbon where we have the hydrogen removed. Before we explore more complex alkyl groups, it is important to review the primary alkyl substituents. In this case, we are showing the alkyl group methyl, ethyl, propyl, and butyl. All of these are attached to a cycloalkane. It's important to observe that when we have one substituent only on a cycloalkane, we no longer have two hydrogen in this point. So we have one hydrogen left and the name of the alkyl group will precede the name of the cycloalkane. So this one will be named methyl cyclopropane, ethyl cyclopentane, butyl cyclohexane, and propyl cyclobutane. To practice some more, now we have a cyclopentane with a substituent. One of the hydrogens here has been removed, and now we see that it's substituted with the isopropyl group. So the name of the compound here is isopropyl cyclopentane. We also see that a cyclohexane has a secbutyl alkyl substituent. Do not forget that we have one hydrogen left right here. Now to compare, we have a primary alkyl group from butane, and that is a butyl. It is attached on position number 5 for the molecule of nonane, so this is 5-butyl nonane. And this is very special because we did not discuss that some cyclic alkyl groups can also be formed by removing one hydrogen. And this is from the substance cyclobutane, which is CH2, every single one of these corners. Now we have removed one hydrogen, and this is attached to a hydrocarbon chain eight carbons long. So that one is a four cyclobutyl octane. Now let's see the different alkyl groups that can be formed from the molecule of isobutane. Isobutane is the isomer of the straight chain butane when we use the common name. Isobutane has two different types of carbon. It will have a tertiary carbon because attached to this carbon we only have one hydrogen left, only one hydrogen. When we also have three primary carbons because these carbons at the end are attached to three hydrogens each. So we have three primary carbons and one tertiary carbon. So we have opportunity to lose one hydrogen from two different kinds of carbons. The first that we can form is the isobutyl when the hydrogen that is lost is from a primary carbon. So if we lose a hydrogen from this primary carbon, we have isobutyl. If we are losing a hydrogen from a tertiary carbon, therefore, we are forming the alkyl group named third butyl. And third butyl relates to the kind of carbon in which we have lost one hydrogen. I'm going to show you the method that I used when I was a student to remember all of these alkyl substituents. The first one is very simple because this is 
isopropyl if you guys see is the isomer of propyl which is the easiest one so this is isopropyl and then if you compare isopropyl with isobutyl you just need to add one CH2 extra so that will be isobutyl and then when you see the last two it's very simple to determine what kind they are because this one is from a secondary carbon it's going to be a sec butyl and this one is from a tertiary carbon that is a third butyl let's practice the alkyl groups just learn this one is a straight chain is butyl this is a secondary alkyl group is sec butyl this is a tertiary third butyl and this one is a isobutyl to write the name of the cycloalkane we just need to write in front of the cycloalkane name what is the name of the substituent